Well, that's never gonna heal. Begin recording. If someone other than me is listening to this, things didn't go according to plan, and I've likely been permanently atomized, with no chance this time of resurrection. And that's okay. Fuck it. Before I go, I've got a case of Nuka Cola Quantum and three hours of green pixelated pornography to watch on my Pip Boy. So, if this is to be the final record of my life, I'm going to make it a damn good one. I'm going to tell you a story of friendship and cannibalism, ascension STD, amazing moments beneath a starlit sky, banjos and time loops, pimps and hoes, lessons in dating, betrayal, and there's loss. Terrible loss. My name is Simon. And while you've never heard of me, I'd bet my last bottle of Nuka Shine that you've heard the name of my rival. We stepped out of Vault 76 together, along with the 500 that would reclaim Appalachia. Beyond that vault door were two roads that lay before us. I chose a road of light and hope. He chose another road, the Avenue of Wasteland Dickhead. His name was Chad, and this is our story. Appalachia, once the state known as West Virginia. Before the Great War and devastation, it was a verdant swath of forest, mountains, and backcountry teeming with wildlife. Now it's ruin. The only hillbilly left cooking up moonshine out here now is a drunk-ass robot named Bev. But I've already told you about him. Tonight I want to tell you about Chad. Did you ever wonder why everyone, everywhere, knows a Chad? They are as common as a case of radworms, persistent, annoying as all fuck, and ever constant. Chads borrow your tools and don't return them. Chads will sock you in the dick for a laugh. Chads will raw dog your girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, or sex spot when you're not home and then make you sniff their fingers at work with a smirk on their face. That's what a Chad is. But let me tell you how I met my Chad. Stop recording. Seek journal entry. Seek entry, day 42. Appalachia, day 42. 74 degrees, sunny and clear. Of all the essentials of life I was handed by funny robots on my way out of the vault, the one thing they failed to provide was toilet paper. Toilet paper. Have you ever had to wipe your ass with a burnt comic book or radiated plant life? It seems like a bit of an oversight on the part of vault Tech and the Overseer, but here we are. Toilet paper poor and with a sore ass. It's taken me two weeks but I finally found a supply at Super Duper Mart that should keep me in moderate comfort for months to come. After I returned to my camp, I discovered a stranger had made himself comfortable at my home. He was just sitting in one of my chairs, staring, just staring off into space. After a moment's confusion, my stomach dropped. It was Chad. 
Chad from the vault. We had a brief and very awkward chinwag recalling good times at 76. Without even asking, he started cooking up chems at my bench and then had the audacity to ask me for some purified water and dog food. Despite our history, I recalled the words of the overseer I listened to as I stepped out into the light for the first time. I had to be neighborly. I begrudgingly shared what meager resources I had, and he went on his way. Appalachia. Day 43, 64 degrees and rainy. You'll never guess who set up a tent nearby. Yep, Chad. I was attempting to build a pre-war porta potty based on some blueprints I found impossibly inside a giant ass tick. As he rambled on about hitting mole rats in the dick while crunching loudly on some chips he borrowed, I was so distracted I kept hitting my thumb with a hammer. He then predictably asked to borrow some stim packs. I begrudgingly told him I only had three left, so I could only offer him one diluted one. In actuality, I'm sitting on 18. After I handed it over, he announced he had somewhere to be, and then just hopped off into the distance. Appalachia, day 43, continued. Foraging this afternoon up near Morgantown, I spotted a beautiful rad stag grazing on the edge of a stream. Crouched low, I patiently crept up on it so I could get just one perfect shot with my pipe rifle. As I held my breath and was getting ready to take my shot, careening out of the bushes at full speed was Chad, making grunting noises and swinging a tambourine-turned-bladed melee weapon wildly around his head. The radstag, of course, took off. Chad gave chase, however, striking it dead after a few hundred feet. Before I even had a chance to get a single hit, the stag was down and stripped to the bone. Chad waved cheerily before running off into the woods again, his pockets full of harvested meat, pens, and screws. Awesome possum bacon it is tonight. Yet again. Appalachia, day 44, 78, cloudy, and whatever. 4 a.m. I was woken up at 4 in the fucking morning to Chad grinding and banging away at my armor station. He then had the gall to help himself to some of my leftover dog food. He just went right into my stash and pretended like impossibly it magically is only his things, as if that made any sense at all. By 7 a.m., he was pissed drunk and thought it would be hilarious to climb on top of my power armor and taunt passers-by with a hail of gunfire. Of course, they returned fire, and now two of my walls are blown out. I quietly walked a short distance away and vented my growing frustration by shooting at some felled trees until I was out of bullets and covered in sawdust. Shut this off. Appalachia, day 45, what the fuck time is it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be fucking kidding me. That's enough. Morning. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a great day for it. I shot Chad in the face today. Beautiful weather. Outlook is promising. Country roads take me home. Gonna dig a shallow grave. West Virginia.
This concludes our first podcast, a test case of sorts, and I realize it is short, but the very first journal entry I wrote was. Over the past several months, what began with this story has turned into something that, amazingly, people got a few laughs over and look forward to regularly. So I kept writing. All bugs aside, what Bethesda has created here has had for me personally become the most amazing gaming experience in all my years. I've had a few glasses of wine and talked about life and loss. I've ragdolled myself with godlike explosive weapons, had a naughty underwear party with some interesting people, hunted cryptids, and found friendship. Every week, I get to spend time with some amazing people from all over the world. For them, and for all of your support and appreciation, a profound and humble thank you. Let me know what you think of this pilot episode with likes, shares, and comments. I hope to see you all in the wasteland. Good night.